Oz Reese for regular news here in South California, catching up with Super Bantamweight talent and defeated 7 0 2 KOs Ramla Ali. Happy holidays, Ramla. It's a pleasure, honor to meet you. How's everything going? Happy holidays. Now, everything is uh, really good. You've just caught me after two sessions today, so I'm a bit like deflated. It's okay. <laughs> um, but I'm glad you caught me, so thanks thanks for having me on, yeah. on, on your show, basically. All right. What can you tell us about, um, it's, it's been uh, announced, you have a, a fight, uh, I'm a coming fight coming up on yep. February 14th, you get to fight on another big card. Amazing, They made yeah. the Serrano versus Cruz card. What can you tell us about so that? So it's going to be amazing, like as you said, another another two amazing uh, female boxers that are going to be headlining a show in um, the Hulu Theatre in Madison Square Garden which is incredible yet again and then they, the co-main will be Alicia Baumgartner and she is fighting for all the belts against the French who's a very good boxer as well, El Hem. Um, so that's going to be like amazing and um, I'm just so glad to be able to um, compete in such yes. a big card like that so kudos to Matchroom for always putting on these amazing shows and for allowing me to showcase my talents on these are shows. you becoming uh, do you like the fact that you get to compete in all these big cards you fought in Vegas you fought 100%. here in LA you fought here you're going to fight at the Hulu theater in yes. uh, Madison Square Garden yes, how does yes. that make you feel it's incredible like obviously um, when I first started uh, my professional career it was always behind closed doors that was in itself a bit more scary than having a crowd um, but then you know once you have a crowd and then you realize everyone is supporting you everyone is wishing you to succeed and they're all behind you that honestly gives you the best feeling in the world knowing that people don't want to see you slip and fail uh, like you mentioned earlier I have you know a, a good following in the UK which is incredible as you saw in my fight in July they <laughs> Literally they went blew, crazy. They over. went crazy. They <laughs> blew up the arena, which was incredible. Right. Um, not sure I'm going to have the same level Support, of fans okay. in, uh, in in the in the US. But the one thing I love about training and competing here is that everybody wishes to see you succeed, and I and I love that about the US. Okay. Um, so I know everyone's going to you know want to see me um, succeed on February the fourth. Let's think a little bit ahead and let's say Mr. Eddie Hearns has mm -hmm. big plans for you. I and hope he, so. <laughs> and he sees you, you know, winning the, the world yeah. championship belt. You Amazing. see yourself headlining a card here in the US? Oh, 100%. Um, so there's like a huge Somali um, population in Minnesota. Okay. Yep, it's about, it's the biggest diaspora outside of Somalia, which is incredible. Wow. And I've always. I I've always wanted to compete there and headline there, so... I was there last year, I didn't know there was uh, such a huge Somalian population. Huge, it's like 180,000 wow. Somalis, which okay. is incredible. So, you know, to headline a show there and... I mean, you know, let's not think that far ahead, but like even to just compete there uh, would be incredible to know that all, you know, a lot, of, a, a lot of the fans will be coming, like my people will be coming to support me, which is incredible. So that's definitely something... Um, that I've spoken about All right. <laughs> with Matt Drew and hopefully something that comes uh, comes to light in the future. Okay. How is our uh, training going? This is your third fight with Coach Manny now. Yes. How are you guys working? How is that connection, the trainer? No, trainer this is fighter. my fourth fight. Your fourth fight. So the first one was in LA, then the second one was London, and then don't oh, forget Saudi. Oh yeah, Saudi Arabia. The that first... was so quick. That's yes. why everyone keeps forgetting that one. Um, and then this is my fourth camp. I'm honestly like loving um, being out here in the, the, the Mexican cauldron, as me and Richard like to call it, because it's just heaving with uh, amazing, incredible, talented yes. fighters in the gym. Um, so, you know, just having that, um, you know, being able to spar in the gym and having like 30 pros who are like 20 and 0, right. 25 and 0 watching you. It's you raise, you raise, you, you pick up Not your game, right? Not only do right? you raise your game, but it prepares you for those big fights. Having, yeah. you know, the audience watch you and having the nerves of people watching you. Right. This is the best preparation and I love being here. And, you know, I, Can I you tell the difference from back home when you're training in the UK and coming to 100%. It's, yes. it's, it's nothing like this. Yes, there's some incredible boxers in the UK and, you know, training is like really hard there as well. But like, when you come here and it's like, from 9 a.m. to like 1 p.m. It's non-stop sparring. Yeah. You're in, like, it's like it's like a conveyor belt, like people getting in, doing eight rounds, 10 yeah. rounds, 12 rounds. 
and then when they're done right next to get in and it's like it just keeps going and like because everybody is waiting for sparring yeah everybody ends up watching the ring and watching the sparring so knowing that all these incredible boxers are watching you and the nerves of having them watch you is the honestly the best preparation uh, for fight night I know you take big pride in being the first female boxer to fight in Saudi Arabia. Yeah. It's a big, a nice memory for you to have. 100%. What, what else do you remember about that, that evening? That evening there? was amazing. I met some, you know, I got to meet some, again, some incredible boxers, some incredible talents that were also competing on the card. The main event was insane. Like, it was even better than the first time both boxers you know really showed that they wanted to win and that was just honestly like a night to remember um i think the one the other thing i you know i can remember just the whole experience and how i was treated you know i thought there was going to be a lot of backlash um you know competing in saudi arabia but it wasn't like everybody was so welcoming everybody wanted to see change and I was just so glad to be a part of that change. And they may want to see you fight there again. 100%. It's a, it's yeah, a big, let's do it it's again. It's a big boxing <laughs> audience now. Yes, yes, 100%. <laughs> what can you tell us about your opponent, Ramla? You were telling me earlier that you're just waiting for the commission to get yeah. everything cleared up. To be honest, um, I don't... Manny always wants me to watch my opponent, analyze my opponent, and okay. I never do. All right. Not until, like, two weeks before, or a week before. Because I just find that, you know, analyzing them too much gets into your head. And right. what, what I like to do in camp is focus on the things I'm good on at. On your craft. On right? my craft, yeah. me getting better, me working on things and not having to think about them. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay. I mean, you know, I'm going into my eighth pro fight. It's not going to be a walk in the park. I know that. Um, it's going to be my first 10 rounder, which I'm all really right. excited about. So I know. Thanks for disclosing all that info <laughs> with me. <laughs> <laughs> so I know it's going to be like a, it's, it's going to be a good step up for me. Um, so I'm just training really hard in the gym, making sure I'm doing my runs, you know, doing okay. my SNC as you just saw me yes. do and collapse at the end of. And yes, I'm just I making did. sure that I put in 100 percent because when you know you've given everything you possibly can, you can never lose. Oh. You know, so. That's how I think. That's a great attitude. Yeah. To finish up this interview, let's yeah. look ahead one year at the yeah. end of 2023. Where yeah. do you say you're solving the rankings? I mean, I hope... In your weight class. I hope, fingers crossed, let's put it out there in the universe. <laughs> God willing. Um, I'd like to, to, to have a, a have a world title belt. Okay. That would, be, that would be the dream. That has always been the dream. I'm not going to say that has always been the dream since I was young because <laughs> that's not true. But, you know, since I was young, I was always uh, wanting to be the best version of myself that I can okay. possibly be. I had a dream that I wanted to go to the Olympics and I managed and to achieve it, that yes. dream. And now I have a new dream that I want to, you know, be able to win a, a world title and I'm going to stop at nothing to achieve it. There you have it. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. February 4th is just around the corner. You heard it for, from herself, Ramla Ali fighting on the Amanda Serrano versus Cruz undercard. Do not miss it. And she's putting on a great shows every time she's there. Thank you very much, Ramla. Thank you. Thank